I have never felt more grounded than when I touched my family tree and my fingers rooted into the soil of my mother's native songs. The veins in her hands intertwined with mine so sublime that they grew into branches that could reach as far as my ancestors' arms. Like a giraffe's neck, they gently left kisses in my memory that grew into fireflies that even to this day, when I close my eyes, I can still vividly rem reminisce my roots. A black fist that belongs to a black star. You see, my family's ancestry is from, Win is from Ghana, West Africa. And only a place as beautiful and magical as Ganyans would even think to put a black star in the middle of their country flags. Because a black star, it always shines in the darkest of times. And when my parents moved from Ghana, West Africa to Winnipeg, Manitoba, they passed the baton to me because it's a relay race. And as this mic transfers to Ransford, my flow is sick like cancer. And there's no joke in that. Blank stares, no answers. Because the cards you get down in life, they like random chance, like bullets with no answers. Blah, blah, then voodoo dances. When a bullet hits the back of your head, you will pee your pants. And in stories like that, there are no romances. But you still need to ask the question to get the answer. See, there's knowledge in these lines, like sermons and classes. I'll be your freedom master, because at least I'm trying to free the slaves. The world was meant to be hell, but its mental hold, it got us all crawling in our graves. And as we continue to read his story, we're slowly eradicated like Christopher Columbus did to the Iroquois and the Braves. Yes, I'm talking about the Indian raids. But then they have the audacity to tell me that they don't even notice, that they don't even know this man, and that's a triple entendre. To be like Ranch, you better stand up, or else you ain't even half this man, because I told you I was 6'8", and I got a master's plan. But I've always tried to live my life unassuming. Try to live like I was the opposite of Truman. But truth, the bright lights came, the world was removed from my eyes, and since that day, I have always, always been this same G like genuine. I put my heart in these rhymes. Moonwalk you back in time, because our story has never been told. It's telling. You see, I seen what oral history did to Africa, and I'm just trying to do one better now, like Tori, I'm spelling. I was walking down the street the other day, and a woman stopped me and told me I look majestic. That's a true story. And if that ain't evidence that I come from a line of kings, you better check the transcript, and that ain't even a diss. I'm nice, just like my flow spits. You can use a pic, but who do you know who paints pretty pictures than now? I spoke that in third person like I was praying aloud. I spoke with my fist in the air because I've always been Black Panther proud. You see, my father, he made me proud. He taught me that no matter what, never live under the shroud. And the way that we grew up, we were like the total opposite of Waldo because we always stood out in the crowd. <laughs> And no matter how crowded the confines of our checkbook got, my mother would say, young man, hold your head up, be proud. Because to me, pride and dignity, those two are like nouns. And in that moment, love, that was the verb that was verbalized to open up my third eye to realize you were always judged by the company you keep. You see, my parents taught me that I was a lion. And lions, they don't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep. Instead, they always uplift and teach the youth, 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 youth.